my beer. This thing on? What the heck? This video here you're gonna watch is me installing a dishwasher. Pretty self-explanatory, but there's always people who skip around and don't listen to the whole video, so I wanna get a few things out of the way right at the beginning. Uh, this is a rental house. Um, I did not supply the dishwasher. The dishwasher was supplied to me along with the parts. It was like at a scratch and dent floor model store. So it was missing some things, primarily the little tabs that go on the top that you screw to the countertop. So that's, that'll give you a little bit of background on the big problem with this dishwasher that came from the scratch and dent place. So I've installed a lot of dishwashers. Um, some can take as little as, we'll give it an hour, and some can take up to four hours. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to film. The guy is very eager to watch me work, so he's gonna be like right there, one of the shoulder guys. So I'm gonna go in, see how things go, and if I can, I'll, I'll bring the camera in. For those of you who are wondering what the heck I'm talking about these tabs, they go in these little slots here, and they screw to the underneath side of the countertop. Underneath the side of the countertop has a piece of wood. One of the co most common problems I have is when they put new flooring over the top of new flo old flooring that's put out of the top of old flooring. There's such a buildup in front of the dishwasher that you can't get it out. Luckily, I only have one um, new layer of flooring. I maxed out the old feet. These feet, I think I can, I'll actually adjust it up a little bit. They've got plastic, non-scratching feet. The new dishwashers, older dishwashers usually, or cheaper dishwashers, usually just have. They've got metal feet that can, can scratch, sometimes scratch this stuff up. Looks like you're gonna have plenty of room to use those old ones. Perfect. I got even room to make a mistake. Keep your tools off the countertop. Okay, these are the tabs on the old dishwasher. And they are they are spot welded in. So we're gonna take these inside, give them a little trim, and then probably also use a sheet metal screw. So they fit right in the slot. Uh, this one might be a little bit bent, but nope, fits right in the slot. What I'll do is I'll trim the outside. They got two sets of holes. Can you guys see that? Two sets of holes. I'm gonna be using the inner set of holes and I'll snip the outside set of holes off. One more test fit before I snip these front loops off. Gosh, it looks dang near perfect. A little bit of light in there. See how that works? Screws in right to that piece of wood. is the drain and back here this pipe here that goes way up behind the the top of the the sink here so what I got to do is, is take this hose I go up over the top and run it down in to this pipe here There's an outlet underneath the, the, the sink. 
Uh, yes, it is, and it is not GFI protected. That's a 20 amp circuit on a regular breaker. And this house, how old is this house? Oh, that sucks. The bottom half of this outlet is switched for the garbage disposal. The top half is on. So I'm going to have to... Con well, I thought I could get it in there, but I can't. So now I have to pull that outlet apart. I have to pull that outlet apart and switch the hots uh, to make the top one switched and the bottom half um, non-switched. Yeah, it's every house has a non-GFI outlet under the sink. Well, at least most of them do. My my houses do. This every house in this entire section of town does not illegal or anything it's just the way the world works just because you don't understand it doesn't make it wrong ah! I can touch the hot and not get zapped because I'm not grounded this one and this one I just pull out pull out switch them stuff them back in and then put the outlet back in and now I can use the plug that came with the disher, dish, the, the dishwasher install kit. Come on, baby. One out. Two out. Get in there. Right now it's the hole. There it is. Piece of cake. They're in there nice and tight. Shove all this stuff back in there. So now the, the top one is the switched one. Yes. And now I can use this cord. The way it's supposed to be on the bottom here. Dishwasher is on. Finally. Holy cow, handyman. Now before I adjust the feet and screw that thing in and I've had this hooked up. Uh, well, let's see if this. There we go. There's no leaks there. We'll come back to that. This is the drain hose. This is the water, hot water supply. This is just a the same thread pattern as a hose. And there's a little rubber washer in there, just like your hose, and it cinches up to that plastic piece. And that is a compression oh fitting on that stainless braided hose and it connects to the water shutoff on the other side. Now behind here is the other end of the cord that you just connect up uh, to the wires that are in here. Uh, that you usually get, this is a floor model. Okay, there's nothing in here, no cardboard, no packing material. Normal wash, heat dry, we don't need that. Four delay, we don't need that. We're just gonna hit start. Oh, there it goes. It's looking for leaks. Give it a little shake. Now what I'll do is I'll let this fill up. It is time consuming, but I do not want to get called back for a leaking dishwasher. I'll let it fill up till it hits its first uh, wash cycle right like that. Give it a couple more seconds and I'll have to cancel and that's also the drain button. And make sure that it drains right. It only takes a few minutes. Not the quietest thing. See the water flowing? I don't know. Yeah, you guys can see the water flowing. This isn't very high pressure, this hose here. But this being a floor model, you don't know. Well, if it was dropped or what, all these pump housings are made of plastic they could easily have been cracked no water now I'm gonna adjust the feet to take care of this gap and then screw it in make sure the reveal looks good and then go home never underestimate how much time it's gonna take to adjust the dishwasher feet the cheaper models have cheaper feet 
some have these awesome systems where you just put a screwdriver in and you can just without monkeying with these cheap feet um, you can adjust all four corners from the face they got these long rods that go in and work on worm gears I just quickly put the kick plate in here um, just goes up and in and rests down uh, a lot of them have a screw uh, that holds this on this one doesn't have a screw well one last thing is uh, I'm just gonna give this a little shake around the shark bite give it a pull and a poke uh, I didn't install any of this I just put this um, the what am I trying to say the hose <laughs> the hose on the shutoff um, but I don't want to get blamed for anything when this thing goes of course because you know shark bites they explode and they ruin houses I have never seen a documented case of that I've heard a lot of plumbers that hate shark bites uh, say that. In my experience, it's been shark, uh, plumbers who are losing work because of innovation and in technology where their skill set is no longer needed to, to do things like this. A homeowner can go down to Home Depot, get some shark bites, and boom, 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 it's in. And man, are there some serious upset plumbers. Now keep in mind, this is a floor model, so it might have, it's dirty. It's not my job to clean it. Um, there's a few other parts that didn't come with it. A lot of times there's these little skirt pieces that go and clip onto the housing of the dishwasher and then uh, press up against the edge of the countertop. Uh, didn't come with that. This is a rental and it's treated as a rental. A lot of people don't like that, but it is just... Uh, business it's how these people who own rental houses treat their rentals i can't change that so don't get upset at me and do one last look around so i'm getting ready to lock the door on my way out here and notice there's no deadbolt thing on here i wonder if i'll get a call back to do that that'd be pretty nice another five or six hundred dollars